My name is Carrie Tuggle and this is my final post for the final project for the 501 class. I believe that child development and the understanding of child development is very important to social workers. It is important that we understand how a child develops normally and in order to to, in order to be able to assess where a child is and if they are having some developmental delays or other issues, we would need to have something to ma match that to, so, so a bar to speak, so that we would know if they are where they should be for their age. So this is also really important if we're going to look at interventions. So if we know where a child should be, then we may, it makes it easier for us to know where to refer to get the added help so they can get up to age level for their development. It's also important that we understand child development and how it relates to the child in their environment. So is the child in school? Does the child, um, how do they interact with their family? What kind of family situation do they have? Do they have an extended family that they interact with regularly? Do they attend, um, do they attend a, a spiritual to church or something like that? So all those things can affect the way that a child's development is um, expressed. It's also important to understand the role in the family and where they are developmentally in that. If something were to happen to a child, say a traumatic event, if we can look at that in the context of where the child is developmentally, we also may come to some better understandings as to how that child might react or respond to that trauma. And that again can help us with our referrals and our interventions if we can put it in that context. The ASQ I thought was very helpful in when I used it for this project. However, the family that I interviewed and worked with for this project was a middle income, Caucasian family, nuclear family, living in Orange County, California. So a lot of the questions and the things that I asked them to do, they had already done before and they were very familiar with. I believe that although the questionnaire comes in different languages, there may be some cultural bias to some of the questions. For instance, if a child has not readily been exposed to some of the things that we, I felt were commonplace or the people I interviewed thought were commonplace, they probably wouldn't do as well on the test. So if they were asked to repeat, say, their name and their, um, their, their gender and those kinds of questions and we're gauging their developmental um, stage on that, if that is not something that's important in their culture, maybe that's not something that they would readily repeat. However, they may be able to repeat something else that would take the same cognitive um, development. I also see what else here. So the experience that I learned from this, I thought it was a great experience. I currently work as a registered dietitian and I've worked in hospitals and clinics. So I have a lot of experience interviewing clients when it comes to motivational interviewing and gathering data for, for medical purposes. I had not worked with a child in this way and this is actually what I've been wanting to learn a lot more about. It felt it was very helpful to have a tool to do that. It was really interesting to work with parents with this as well and see how a parent, when you're asking these kinds of questions and they know that you're looking at the development of the child, sometimes can become defensive. So you have to be really sensitive to that um, and take that into consideration. I think that it was really helpful that I did have experience working with parents in the past. So I was able, I think, to, to bring the, you know, get the family to be at ease. I had actually a prior relationship with them as well. But um, it was definitely hands-on, real-life experience is much different than reading something in a book. So I think it was very valuable. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed this class. I hope you guys did too. And best of luck on the rest of your studies.